And we're back with the Coca-Cola Kid. Go this, Kid. This is a, a, a Japanese release only on the Game Gear. What I, is it? I applied a translation patch. Oh, good work. Yeah. So, Normally what? this would be written in uh, Italian. Okay. Now it's in uh, American. So I'm not familiar with this game at all. It seems a lot of people are. Are they? Well, the internet, I feel like, is. This is not what I was expecting. Straight Me off the neither. bat, this is not what I was expecting. Me neither. Pal gas. <laughs> you hit her with pal gas. There's the Coca-Cola kid, right? Koki. He's called Koki. Hmm. Is, is this, this going to be an RPG? It uh, be aw. Because it's definitely got a very RPG vibe going on right now. And if this was an RPG, I would be so hard in. Yeah, I'd be into it, too. This there is actually, is. This is actually a... It's based off of the Sonic Game Gear engines. Okay. So it's, like, momentum-based. Okay. But, but Koki cannot quite execute the way that Sonic can. Koki Romero. What? So you're in Sonic's world, except you're not Sonic. Oh, even the same font there. Um, no, no, it's... Okay. For it's Game Gear, this is this is not bad looking. Not, it, no, there's not that bad. guy. See, here's the problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chugging up steps. Mm. What's it? Oh my. It's alright. No. Pro, pro tassin. <laughs> this game. Yeah, this isn't what I expected at all. Like, you gonna you said we're gonna play the, the Koki Kid. And what I thought. You, what were you I was expecting, like, a, a Coca Cola can, like, floating around this screen collecting Coke cans or something. I don't. <laughs> Like, I know that's weird. Why would a Coke can be collecting Coke cans? But I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean... I guess a kid floating around. We've seen very strange things <laughs> on our journey. <laughs> you, just, you had a skateboard, you lost a skateboard. Yep. You could have yeah, your charge move. Who's like this Goku. guy? Is that guy... That guy's from the 90s. That's a character that can only exist in the 90s. We'll see more of him that's later. Like... <laughs> Order me up some 90s drawings. Uh, so, so, forgive me, I wasn't... Paying terrible attention to the plot. Well, Teach got hit with pal gas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Ko Koki Romero's got to stop him. Koki Romero. Love that movie. Koki <laughs> Romano. <laughs> it's Corky. Well, not only did you... Wow. I love having you here, Chris. <laughs> uh, do what I can. Uh, I like if I could give the world a Coke. Hmm. <laughs> So the skateboard. Oh, rad skateboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, I'm really into the Simon's Quest stairs. That's what I'm liking so far. Yeah, but my favorite thing about this game so far is the Simon Quest stairs. They're it, not Simon's Quest stairs because if they were, he'd be going up them backwards. <laughs> I would. I would. I'm no, Simon's oh. Quest. You can't do that. In Simon's Quest. Oh, you can't. Okay. You're thinking of Castlevania Four, but um, yeah. this is a sprite swap. They Whoa! <laughs> there's a fat guy. He drank a lot of coke. They replaced the holy water with coke, so you have to throw coke to make sure that the, the stairs in front of you are solid. Uh, is, this game, like, isn't terrible. No, it's good. I mean, it, it's it isn't exciting. <laughs> yeah. it, nope, we've used that take too much lately. It fucking sucks, I hate it, I want it to burn. How is this game... I want it to burn. How do you want this game to burn when there's a fat man shooting fire? Right, exactly. Well, first of all, uh, it needs more... Uh, localization. Needs more localization. I thought it was a it, good story. It, it, I understood right. it. First complaint. Uh, no bloody tears. <laughs> needs more fire whips. Bloody tears. <laughs> needs more... I am the only one with you on that. <laughs> bloody tears. Needs more, needs more Grim Reapers. You know, Death there has are, appeared in more Castlevania games than Dracula. There has. aren't... There aren't enough hearts... Stars, rainbows, clovers, or blue moons. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of golden rainbows. And whoa, rainbows. there oh, he is, Teach. Like... No, no, no. That's uh, Mr. Pal Gas. I Mr. Iwata. Oh, okay, Mr. Iwata. Did he get I Pal mean... Gas? No, he threw the he he hit the he Pal Gas. The, he, threw he hit the, the Pal Gas. No, he hit the he hit Teach with Pal Gas. <laughs> is Teach okay? We're on the quest to rescue her. Oh, oh wait, no, it's Mr. Sakurako. I'm sorry. Racist. With filthy gaijin. Now, do, do you prefer Mexican Coke? Or oh, Coke? you know, there's real sugar in that, man. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. You know, there's, Cokey, no, like, Cokey there's no corn syrup in it. And it's, it's a lot better. You should really go get it. You know, it's a real big difference. Really big difference. 
the Mexican Coke. It's really good. My favorite it's a lot part. Better. And a lot better than the Coke we, the Coke we get here. Because it's corn syrup. <laughs> that guy? <laughs> There's a barrel of corn syrup. Oh. They, so it's a man with like a... Like a robot mech suit. This is Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a... One of those big lumberjack, like, jumpsuit overall things. No, oh, there, there's 90s man. Yep, they <laughs> was... Just as quickly as he entered our lives, he's gone. My favorite part in Koki Romero <laughs> is when he uh, has too much coke. And he, like, goes to the door, and he's all like, Hey, hey, you guys look good? Good. And then he uh, asks them if they'd like to buy some cookies. He's a Girl Scout. Do you ever think these things out before you say them? No, I don't. <laughs> so... Somebody's gotta fill the time. We can't have any... Look! Dead air. No dead air. There if there's no dead air. dead air. If there's dead air, I'm just left with my thoughts. Look, I, I want to say what the executives want to say right now. Uh, <laughs> the, to the top brass. The, the, I'm going to say cats. what the top brass is just too afraid to say. We're all thinking it. The The skateboard power-up is bullshit. Yeah, it's pointless. <laughs> it, you you are never on it for more than two seconds. No, it's really frustrating because like in a video game, I get a skateboard. I'm like, oh, sweet. Mini level. Mm -hmm. You know? Playing some Mega Man X. Or at least it gives you an advantage. There's, right. It just kind of moves you forward a little bit faster. And then you, you run <laughs> into something, something and it goes oh, away. We were in Central Park. Yeah. Like in, in Central Park. New York? Well, it's a park that's in a Central Park. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not, not the, the Central Park. Right. It's a Central Park. Bitch, uh, a centralized like... park. Yes. <laughs> Bitch, I look like Goku. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japan's that's crazy. That thing, that's like... Th he is like a leaf blower that, that shoots That's like that dumb Streets of Rage guy on the jetpack. Essentially, I think this game can just be described as dumb Streets of Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in this... Not that Streets of Rage isn't inherently not dumb, but this is like a dumber Streets of Rage. There's fat guys, uh, you kick things. The opening, There's a dumb kid with a backwards cap. Yeah. Uh, the the plot's pretty guy. similar, too, because this is Mike Hagar's daughter... Captured, and he's like, "Oh, my sweetheart from childhood." Yeah, there's a uh, there's a guy that shoots fire out of his mouth. Wow, you really nailed it there. <laughs> Dumb streets of rage. Dumb streets of rage. Sponsored by Coke. On uh, the Sonic Engine. Yeah. So here's what here's another thing the executives aren't talking about. Where's the inevitable Coca Cola crash? Where's the come down? <laughs> the great Coca Cola crash. <laughs> the great Coca Cola crash of 1960. No, you drink too much caffeine. And we should know this. We're the coffee drinking men. Yep. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows about the the caffeine crash, it's us. That's why you see our videos get from like bad to really bad. Yeah, they <laughs> start off crashing. really good. We're, we're high and on by, caffeine. We're just yeah. we're fucking feeling the flow. We come mm -hmm. in, we get eh, fresh brew cup. Yep. Fresh brew cup of Joe. Uh -huh. here. Eh, 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 sip it up. Hey, Judge. Cup, hey, you want a fresh brew? Fresh brew cup of Joe. Cup of hey, Joe. Get your cup of Joe. Hey, yeah. cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe here. Cappuccino. Oh, hey, too. you want a cappuccino? You want a pumpkin spice latte? Love the pumpkin. So you know the pumpkin spice latte. Yep. They were on their game when they made that. Oh, that's what I like to say about things. So no, all right. Real talk. Time out. Real talk. All right. What happened to the, today on our way into the studio? Me and Diaper were heading in. Well, first we stopped at the Chinese buffet. That's a story for another time. This is a Japanese game. This isn't a Chinese game. We're not racist. <laughs> Uh, so we, we get our coffee. Get the uh, coffee. We get our coffee before we come into the studio. Mm -hmm. We couldn't uh, get to a Starbucks today. We wanted the Starbucks around. Since we went to the Chinese buffet, we were out of our way. Yeah, couldn't, uh, couldn't normal, stop at the normal Starbucks. Yeah. So uh, we had to stop at a Dunkin' Donuts. Stopped at the Dunkin' D's. Uh, the double D. I love me a pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks, oh. right? And it's maybe a little overrated, but I love them. I don't yeah. think it's overrated at all. I think it's I don't perfectly think so rated. I, I think, think they're on I their think game. the hype is legit. I think... Yeah, as you said before, whoever whoever came up with a formula mm -hmm. for the pumpkin spice, mm -hmm. the secret Coke formula, did a did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Went to Dunkin' D's, mm -hmm. got the pumpkin spice. Yep. Yeah, I got a pumpkin spice and a regular. It fell flat. <laughs> the pumpkin spice is shit from Dunkin' Donuts. Normally, I like Dunkin' Donuts because I like coffee that's been sitting out a while. Yeah, me you too. Know, like, me too. I kind of just like that. Oh, that pot's Look, been over there for three hours. Right. I don't get me wrong. I get. People hate on Starbucks. I don't. I was in a suit. What yeah. the fuck? Throwing bombs. People, people hate on Starbucks. I love Starbucks. Starbucks knows what they're doing. They, they fuck all y'all haters. Mm -hmm. But th that doesn't mean I don't like really shitty coffee, too. I love really shitty coffee. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I like my coffee black. Yeah, exactly. Like you like your women. Can we edit that joke out? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. So I like the coffee black. <laughs> So 
So anyway, we were, we were saying that... But... Here, let me throw this out there. Okay. I think Japan might be the most racist against Japan. Because you look at this game, and they have, like, these ninjas, and they're, like, in tornadoes, and the previous boss has, like, the, uh, the Hong Kong fooey kind of, like, mustache. He's like, oh, I was beaten by a kid! <laughs> like, is it really racist if Japan is making fun of Japan? <laughs> yeah, K Koki collects women's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> Like it's an American-developed game, all the Americans are just cowboy hat-wearing, <laughs> beer-swelling, <laughs> rednecks, yokels. Because I would play that game. Yeah. Or if like they were just like military guys that just shot everything. <laughs> uh, touche. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take that, us. If we're in America. We might be European. We might be, yeah. yeah. Well, I told you, we're three hours ahead of New York. How many levels are in this game? <laughs> A lot. Oh. I hope they're all as varied as the ones we've seen so far. There's Coca-Cola. 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 As it's known in Japan, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Graffiti on the walls here. I'm I... gonna show you a secret here. There are no game facts for this game. Uh, you go down here, you get these coins. What the coins do is, uh, at the end of every three stages, I believe, you get to pick a life up, or a disc, or an extra continue. Go for the life up, that's more permanent. Or you can redeem the coins. Check it out. Check it out, all this scrill. Coke. That's a lot of scrill, Fitty. Damn, Fitty! <laughs> that's a lot of scrill. So, I, I wanna ask you, Judge. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? Uh, I don't drink, uh, carbonated beverages. At all. That often. At and when all. I do, it's sun-kissed. Oh, <laughs> You sounded like the Desecchi's man, but like, oh, yeah. like, if this is stupid Streets of Rage, you're a stupid Desecchi's man. Uh, I would have to go with Coca-Cola. Well, I, stupid or Desecchi's man? The Coca-Cola you said, though. Yes, Coke. Okay. Co Coca Coca-Cola is my go grow to. Anthony? Uh, no question, Coca-Cola. I agree. Uh, three Cokes. Three Cokes. Here's the thing, though. As far as every games are concerned, Pepsi... It's unquestionably better at making games. And I don't we'll know, I really why. like that. that uh... Something's coming up. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been clamoring for it. It's coming up. Don't it's, worry. It's right around the bend. You know, I'm blue balling a lot of people. Or she's like red and blue balling, because yeah, those are the Pepsi colors. Pepsi invaders. So, um... <laughs> I, I also, I'm, I'm with you, Judge. I don't drink a lot of pop. But generally when I, I drink pop... I, I, I don't drink it because I, I have an addictive personality, and when I have, like, one, I will need to drink 700. Mm -hmm. mm. So, we were with a buddy the other day, last uh, weekend. I don't want to say his name. I don't want to say his name. He's a fan, let's just say. Yeah, let's just He's say. He's a big fan. Uh, and he brought over Mountain Dew, because I was just like, I'm just in the mood to just chill out and play some Dungeons and Dragons. Not really. And do the do. And just do some... Do some Mountain Dew this, this weekend. <laughs> when was the last time you had Mountain Dew before that? Oh, it had probably been like three or four years. Okay. But he brought over the Batman Forever Blue Mountain Dew. Okay. <laughs> I, I told know, him. I, I, I texted him. I you said, texted him. Just like, I said, hey, get us a Mountain Dew. Yeah. And I was... I yeah, was get a crazy ass flavor is what I said. I was vibing. What is this? Dracula. So Dracula anyway. Turtle, man. Dracula Turtle. I was just Dora vibing. Dora sorry. Vibing hard. I, I I would say I had like four or five cans. Okay. Like, so for real. I just chugging again, the dew. When I, when the I dew. have, when I have <laughs> one pop, I have to have like 17. I just can't, I can't handle yeah, it. You were flying off the walls. I just, we had to calm you I down. I was bouncing. We had to shoot you with a tranquilizer. Next morning, wake up. You know, it was a little personal. Mm -hmm. Had to take, had to take a poo. Morning poo. <laughs> okay. It was irradiated. I took a poo. It was legitimately green. <laughs> oh my God. It was legitimately green. It was I a drank green poop. So much blue Mountain Dew <laughs> that it turned my poo green. I can't do this anymore. I'm not making that up. You know, and I'm sorry if some of the tasters are a little grossed out by they're, that. You know, they're like TMI, dude. They're TMI. But no, it was I'm eating. Like, I'm and that, eating. and that, I mean, they're tasters. They call them tasters because they're eating. <laughs> That's why they're called tasters. <laughs> they're eating up. They're green. eating hot pockets. And so I was Everyone like, knows it's what tasters eat." And you'd think, you'd think that would be enough to be like, maybe I shouldn't have this anymore. Nope, I finished the case. <laughs> finished the case of Blue Mountain Dew. That sort of thing only happens to me when I have the artichoke dip at Applebee's. <laughs> The, like, the, the artichoke dip at Applebee's is fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but judge, tell them what you order every time you go to Applebee's. Well, I, I order boneless buffalo wings, right? Yeah. What do you get? 
I don't know. I don't know where you're going with this. I know where you're going with this. I know where you're going with Judge this. always orders something specific at Applebee's. I've noticed it. I've noticed it, too. I, I don't. I've never been to Applebee's with you. You, uh, you have. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, no, and you ordered the calm thing. Down, calm down, calm down, calm true. down. No, you, it was so, after that I, thing that we went to. Let's say we were at Applebee's. What would <laughs> we're you order? really specific. I don't know. It was after that thing. It was... You know the thing where I shit green? Yeah, fuck, after fuck that details. Thing. No, no, no. no. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. But What's no, we, we've that? been to Applebee's. I swear to God, we've been I to Applebee's. I am blanking before. here. I am blanking here. I don't think that I ever... We went to, to a basketball game once and we all Oh, went we to went Applebee's. to a basketball game. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, right. so okay. we went to Applebee's after. And I've noticed the last couple times we've gone to Applebee's, Judge, you've ordered something specifically. This is something that you two have discussed behind my back. Yep, and yep, frankly, yep. <laughs> frankly, I'm offended. <laughs> Like, oh, look at Judge. I know, I know That's what, not my real name. They're, they're, I'm just disguising it for the pod play. No, we, your name and you're is Judge. Like, you're like, oh, you got it again. Typical that judge. fucking idiot. No, I it's not an idiot. We, we always say it's a pro nah, move. No, you have a dartboard of me, and you're throwing darts at it. No, yeah. we always say it. It's a, it is a pro move. We wish we could do what you do at Applebee's. Right. Pro, absolutely. Well, Because here's our pro move, and this is the right pro move, and fuck Judge's pro move. <laughs> Well, you, no, you go to Applebee's. Right I usually get a steak. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. He gets yeah, a steak. steak. Applebee's steak. Gets Zam. Zam. There's nothing wrong with the Applebee's steak. <laughs> oh, my God. Where's my soundboard? <laughs> <sighs> awesome. There you go. I made the noise. Nothing wrong with the Applebee's steak. Dude, t- nothing wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with it. And it's affordable. It's these, two, these two are a couple of jerks. <laughs> All right? Couple of dunderheads over here. <laughs> they're not dunderheads, they're jerks. You know, they get off maligning people's choices at Applebee's. And- no, because let, let's be honest here. We, we have no room to judge. We're at Applebee's. We are eating at Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. like, we have, like, we have, <laughs> we have <laughs> absolutely no right to, to make fun of your decision because we're also at Applebee's. And yeah, yet like, you do. And yet you do. Yeah, you Behind know, you my back. Behind your back. Like, could you believe judge? Order a steak again at Applebee's. <laughs> oh, I, I order it, and they're like, they have to put the menus up to their mouth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, exactly. they make that noise with their nose, right? He wasn't sure why we were doing it till just now, till we revealed. I'm like, what? Well, I, I don't order this. the same thing over and over. But then I thought, oh wait, I do. <laughs> it's a pro move. Because uh, let's be honest, uh, boneless buffalo wings, Applebee's. You know, boneless buffalo wings are stupid. No, the concept not. is dumb. It's chicken nuggets with sauce on. Right, it. right. And I'm the nut man. It's dumb. It's He's... dumb. It's dumb because it's a misnomer. They're not. They're not buffalo wings if they don't have a bone in them. There, I'm saying it. But he's the nug man. You know, I'm the nug apprentice. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I did the Trump fan thing. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this is either a great episode or a terrible episode. Please no, let us know. This is by far. Let's review what's happened so far. Uh, I thought this was an RPG. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Pow gas. Uh, pow <laughs> pow gas. I thought this was an RPG. Uh, 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 like the Yamamoto on, man. Guys, I got a joke. For, I got a joke. Uh, Alright, go ahead. After you eat the Applebee's steak, you get pow gas. <laughs> you eat any of Applebee's. <laughs> Stop throwing tomatoes at me. Uh, right, so we had for, for, for some reason, Chris wouldn't go along with the bit that we had prepared in advance. <laughs> uh, really into that. Uh, All right, so uh, the pow gas happened, mm-hmm. and oh, then yes. what happened from there? Was right, the, the, we, I tried to do the coffee bit, and you, for some reason, Chris wouldn't play along. I, well, I was don't, not playing. I, I don't He's understand. I don't understand why he wouldn't play along. He should go. He should go solo. Our Scandinavian tasters love him. Listen, he I am huge, huge in Scandinavian, huge Scandinavian countries. countries. How did that happen? I people love me in Syria, uh, Yugoslavia, the <laughs> Scandinavian this, block countries. He's a Scand- pretty good kid. That's those are Scandinavian countries. You have got infinite power. He's wearing a bicycle helmet. Poland. Don't forget about Poland. Don't forget about Poland. That was a thing, remember that? Oh, that wow. They, they named a Call pierogi. Back. Oh, the disco area. Ah, we're oh, finally, finally we're here. Finally, finally approaching the final stage this year. And there's the 90s man. This isn't Girl. disco at all, though. This is like 90s. I, I'm wondering if is it you will... translation? Again, this is really Streets of Ragey. I'll, this I'll... is super Streets of Ragey. Well, Diaper Chris, I'm wondering if you'll kind of hear the same thing that I heard. It's a, it's a game you and I both enjoy playing together. The oh, music yeah. is kind of 
Yeah, it's a gun star. The, the, the dice palette. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you heard it too. Because when I was I, playing it, I'm like, yeah. hmm. it doesn't have enough robot in a blender sound effects. <laughs> yeah, that's gun star sounds like. Yeah, gun star soundtrack is, sounds like someone put a robot in a blender. I really dislike this stage because whoever created thought it was like pretty cool because the the sprites of people are dancing. They were really into the Happy Mondays or something. I don't know. Is it? The the people dancing sort of vaguely look like the uh, the, the people who are playing in the cantina in Star Wars. It looks like a, it looks like a weird. <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like when I go to Applebee's. <laughs> That's what people order the steak look like. <laughs> this is what happens after you order the steak. You hallucinate, and Applebee's just looks like this. Look like a club. It's <laughs> like oh my god, club, those tennis right? rackets on the wall are moving. Here's uh, all right, here's here's the right move at Applebee's. <laughs> Bone, boneless <laughs> buffalo wings, mozzarella sticks. Right. You get through about half of each. And you want to die, and, and you want to kill yourself. Your intestines are liquefied. You, they cannot bring you enough water to erase the salt that you've you, consumed. You need water. You need bleach. You need bleach to get rid of what's inside you. God, I want a boneless buffalo wing right now. <laughs> Just so, one. So good. Solitary the man, bonus. The man just wants a bonus bubble. Hey, look, we uh, we just came back. We mentioned we just came from Chinese buffet. We're already hungry. We're already well, that that's just because yeah, Chinese. That's right. that's that comes with the territory. That was the joke I was going for. I mean, it's a bad joke. I think it's. I mean, how much time do we have left in this video? Uh, about that much. All right, <laughs> Anthony. Well, yeah. Behind the you, scenes, we got to talk about what what you tried at the Chinese buffet today. Look, guys, I've got a new theory uh, as far as cuisine goes. I think you guys are gonna like it. Now, uh, me and Diaper Chris, we'd each finished uh, two plates worth of food. Mm -hmm. Diaper Chris says, "You know what? I'm gonna put the brakes on. I'm gonna pump the brakes. <laughs> gonna gonna go get my ice cream dessert as you're wont to do at a Chinese buffet. Soothe the stomach." Soothe the stomach, right? Yeah. You, you got a lot of grease going, got a lot of MSG. <laughs> you just got to soothe that stomach. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds that sounds right. That sounds right. I'm going to do the same thing. I sit out. I get my ice cream. Uh, I, I, I put sprinkles on it. First of all, I don't realize what the point of sprinkles is at all. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll will get we? to that. We? Okay, I sit down. I'm eating my ice cream. Uh-huh. You come back. Yeah. He's got on his plate. Uh-huh. Uh, the sugar donut? Sugar donut, yeah. A dough ball with Do sesame seeds around it? Sesame dough ball, mm. love those. Those are great. What's the, what's the main thing, though, that I come with? A bowl of soup. Bowl of soup! Here's what I'm talking about, guys. There's a new wave, it's sweeping the country, it's called soup for dessert. Let's talk this through. What's the one thing that you're looking for in dessert? I know the one thing that I am. Look, I've already finished my meal, I'm feeling full. But I want to continue eating. <laughs> What's going to let me continue eating for the longest amount of time without filling me up? Soup! It makes so much sense. Why would you eat soup at the beginning of your meal? Mm -hmm. It's just going to fill you up. You know, I thought he was crazy. It's going to fill you up. You want room for the real food. F forget the soup in the beginning. <laughs> Get the soup at the end. It extends the eating process. This really it seems like a like a future Kind of exactly. Concept. Well, that's what. Is that you need to plan here. this out before you get the soup, though. Is right. I think that it's a little more conscious than just like, oh, dessert last. That's like kind of ingrained is... in the culture. This is the disco queen. She's the final boss. She's cool. This is a great final boss. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so that that was the first thing we learned. Uh, soup for dessert. Mm. The second thing we learned is is sprinkles or jimmies as they're called. <laughs> what? What's the point? Do you call them jimmies? You know, some people call them, they in the call south, jimmies. they call them jimmies. jimmies. They call sprinkles jimmies? Yeah. yeah. Do, do they ever put, like, condoms on the ice cream? Like, uh, Jimmy, uh, come that's on. Also, you know. so, so, so you're eating you're eating ice cream, and you're like, this ice cream is good. How can I make it harder to eat <laughs> sprinkles? And here we have the final cinematic. Cokey. 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 Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? Oh! oh! This is a Japanese game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sucking on them titties. Like you want it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for completing that. I love for me. peaches. Yeah. <laughs> and it is the milk was bad. Trope. Tropiest trope of tropes. That's what I looked like eating my ice cream. <laughs> That's what Judge looks like after eating a steak at Applebee's. It's true. And that's what Anthony looks like after eating soup for dessert. Soup for dessert, guys. It's sweeping the nation. What the fuck is going on? 
Well, he, he started at second base, he's gotta move to third. Ugh. Wow. I had a little something here. A little, a little something here. Wow. I'm stunned. Eventually. <laughs> Any moment now. Any Here second. Here comes. <laughs> Here comes the point. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.